Easter weekend at Oakbank is one of the jewels of Australian racing and thousands of people will flock trackside for a big Saturday both on and off the track car. The vibe is genuinely amazing, James, and we're excited to be here at the Oakbank Easter Carnival to check out all the fun and festivities. We look forward to that. We also look forward to a huge card of racing headlined by the time-honoured Great Eastern Steeplechase. Let's go and check it all out. I really like uh, coming to Oakbank because it's in the school holidays and I like seeing my family and friends. Yeah, Oakbank is the best. We love coming here. Talk about the ultimate camping spot. We are right next to the track here at Oakbank. How good's this spot? Yeah, well, it's probably the best spot in Oakbank. We're right on the track. My grandparents used to be here and play cards with across the road and it's just been handed down and we've been taken over from their spot just here. How long have you guys uh, been coming to Oakbank for? Well, as far as I know, it's my 60th year, so um, we've been basically coming here all our lives. There's something about Oakbank. It's, it's, um, it's just, it's a special place. Um, I mean, I've been to lots of tracks around the world, and there's, I don't think there's a track that's like this, just in terms of the track itself, the fact it's undulating, and the picnic atmosphere we have here as well too. I mean, there's, I don't think there's any other track in Australia where you can take everything you like on course. You can take all the food and drink with you, and you know, families just have a good time. Lee Horner, I'm tipping that Oakbank is a carnival that most jump jockeys really look forward to. We do, we, we, we like to come here, it's obviously a picnic style atmosphere, everyone brings their barbecues and they, and they camp out and yeah, as you can see everyone you know, is allowed to go on the track in between races and it's, it's a really unique carnival and great track to ride up. Standing right next to a jump like this, they, they look a lot bigger than, uh, than what they do on TV. Yeah, this is the first one, this, it's quite imposing, this is the first one in the Vondusa and the Great Eastern and they have a, they have a good look at it. They can get through a lot of it, but um, yeah, the good jumpers, they do they do tend to try and jump the whole thing. Are there any tricks in terms of you know positioning your horse and making sure it's taking it the right number of strides before it takes off and, and takes that leap? Uh, most horses that come to the steeple chases here, they're obviously seasoned up. Um, yeah, you just ride it as, an, as a normal race, but you've obviously got to go up the hill three times, so it's obviously you've got to conserve energy and just sort of rate your horse as best you can. Second, he's going to go back to back. What a wonderful horse he is! And ZM, ZM takes the Thomas Farms Great Eastern Steeplechase from a brain spine. Yeah, special day. I was a bit nervous coming in today, thinking, you know, a bit of history there, riding six. So that yeah, was good to get it done, and uh, great for the association. We're a champion horse. It's good old-fashioned Kiwi tough. Uh, he's well pre prepared by Kevin Myers when he's in New Zealand, and then he comes to Patrick Payne, so it's a really good mix. Uh, in the past, he's like over raced a little bit, but he's way better this year. Horses like him get better with age, and that's what he's done. I just love this horse. He's he's such an amazing horse. So good. Just can't believe what he done. I've been working with Pat like 10 years, and this horse has been strapping the last two years. Yeah, that's great. One of your favourites? Yeah, he's my favourite. Yeah. What do you think makes him so special? He's a great. He's just a star, you know. Just leading all the way, three laps. What an amazing. These, these lads own Polar Vortex who just won. One more! One more! One more! One more! One more! At the top of the straight, you knew it was home. That's <laughs> all that's <laughs> What's it like getting a winner on Oak Bank today? Mate, it's unbelievable. With the atmosphere here, there's so many people here. That's all you want, is you want, you want to get a winner on a day where there's a lot of people here with a lot of atmosphere and it's just fantastic. Well, that's a wrap on the Easter Saturday races here at Oak Bank for 2019. Plenty of highlights on and off the track. What topped it for you, Carl? Uh, definitely getting on the back of a ute and uh, watching the races with some real South Australian uh, country people. But you can't go past ZM. What a warrior horse. Well, both horse and jockey and also uh, trainer Patrick Payne, the undisputed kings of Oak Bank. That's a wrap for today. If you haven't been to Oak Bank, make sure you put it on your bucket list for 2020.